what that creates. channel today I'm going to go through talking about what we do with our wrists and the terminology we use when we're talking about the wrists as we know it's really important at the setup what our wrists look like and how we're going to be coming back into the ball at impact so the first wrist position I want to talk to you guys about is cupping the left wrist and what that does to the right wrist so with a cup motion, if you put your hands up nice and high like this and the club becomes parallel with the forearms, you'll see that from the front view camera here, that cupping the wrist adds a lot of loft. So what we're really turning the seven iron into is like a eight iron or nine iron. I would have to say that there's a lot of golfers that cup the wrist. They really add that loft coming back into the ball even up towards 80-90% of the amateur golfers. So what the cupping of the wrist does is it allows us to hit the ball too early. And this can be bad for one, that we're not going to create enough power and enough compression on the golf ball. What this does to our right wrist, well, it extends our right arm and we'll see this type of shape here instead of really at the start setting how we like and keeping this right wrist angle this way and keeping the compression on the shot so a second wrist angle position is the opposite way where the wrist bows so you've got your cupped and then you've got your bowed which is where the wrist goes nice and flat like this so a lot of players on the US tour like Dustin Johnson have this when you swing back to the top his wrist looks like this way, which is bowed. The others is cupped, is this way. You won't be able to see the Shrixen sign or the sign on your glove. Now when something is bowed as this, coming in, you're gonna be producing a lot of attack angle. It's gonna be quite deep and quite forward of the ball. The next wrist angle, the third one, is being hinged. It's when you have a lot of wrist cock. When you're going back like this, we're lifting the club up like that and we're going up through here and bending instead of being void which is the other way so your fourth one is making sure that your wrists bend down i can feel the weight of the club and that's the way the wrists will go and that's how you get your hands high at the start is making sure that your wrists are void so if you're really into the right side of golf swing, you'll find that at the start, at the setup, your hands will be very void and a little bit of the left wrist bowed. So void and bowed is the starting position to come back down. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to set these wrists early and come back down into a position that we can repeat position that we can make sure that our wrists of what we set up the same at the start come back to the same at impact so your four wrist angles are cupped bowed hinged and void <laughs> Up, bowed, void, hinge. One of the other directions of the wrist is opening the face, but it's a bit of a rotation of the wrist. So it's not really a wrist movement, but it also adds into the arms. That's when people fan it. So that is a fanner. The wrist going that direction, 
or closing over that direction is shutting the face. Open, shut. Now if you add a cupped fanner, it will look like that. If you add a bowed shutter, it will look like that. So there's all these different patterns that go on from your wrist to your arms that equate to what you might look like at your set position. So if this is your set position and you've got a bit of bowed fanner, well you look like that. If you get to the set position and you've got a bit of cupped fanner, well then you'll look like that. Another one would be if you get to the set position here and you're a hinged shutter, then you'd look like that. So your arms are still at their set position, but they're just a lot higher. So I hope these wrists help your game out in your setup and coming back down into impact and to know what you're talking about when you discuss this information with others. And if you'd like to see more, make sure you comment, like and subscribe.